Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Good morning, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and um, if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet, and I do like to do a few other things here and there, but I mostly love to talk about crochet. Uh, so just grab you something to drink and let's just see what I have um, to show off today. I do have a couple little things to show you guys this morning. So go ahead and grab you something to drink. Mm, good old black coffee. <laughs> okay, a few of my viewers have asked, what do I keep in the burlap, the bicycle burlap bag? Well, here's what I keep in it. This is the bag and it sits right over here. And some of you are asking, well, what's in the bag? <laughs> I keep stuffing in the bag. And so what I do, and the reason I do that is because my bag of stuffing is so big that it's just difficult getting it. And I can put it in this big old airy bag right here and um, when I need, I'm working on a project, I just grab this into the, go into the living room with it where I'm working on it. And I just grab from the bag from here versus out of this thing, making all this noise, uh, trying to work with it. The size of it is big and bulky. And so I just pull stuffing out of it and I put it in this bag. And then when I need my stuffing, I just grab this. And it's just so much easier to work out of. So, yeah. And then the, and then the stuffing I have left, see, there's a lot left. I just put this back in the closet. And it's big, bulky, and out of the way. And I just, it's lightweight and... I just carry this in the living room when I'm ready to use it. But look at that. It's full of my stuffing now. And I do have one of these. I haven't had to use it, but it, they come in the bags of stuffing. It's these um, stuffing tools. So it's just like a rod in case you've never seen one. But this is all it is. And um, I just keep this in here in case I do need it. I haven't had to use it yet, but I have several of them because I have a lot of stuffing bags. So yeah, so that's what it is for all of you that have asked. <laughs> Alrighty then. The next thing that I have is I did create my next doll outfit, and this is for the 14, um, 14 and a half inch doll. Now, this is the um, American Girl brand, and um, I believe these dolls here, I mean, gosh, I've had her for several years. They may be 40 bucks, maybe. I, I don't remember exactly how much these these little dolls are, um, but I actually have another one, and I don't know why I didn't did not use her, but I do have another one of these that I like to use a lot, and she came off Amazon, and she was a whole lot cheaper, at least half the price of what I paid for this doll, but anyway, I didn't even know that they carried a doll similar to this one with the same body style and everything, the same height and all that for about half the price. <laughs> So anyway, but I love her. Um, I did go out all the way to Tennessee just to buy her. There's an American Girl doll store there. And I went in there just to buy. It's when I first started this journey of crocheting these doll clothes. Um, I went in and I bought an American Girl doll and a 14 and a half inch doll. And yeah. <laughs> and I went ahead and made a vacation out of it. So I went to that store. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, I did I did not realize that my life 
at Walmart had dolls for $25 that I actually like better and that Amazon actually sells a brand similar to this. So <laughs> I'm learning guys, at least I didn't invest too much, but it, she's a good doll. I really like her. She's, she's sturdy. I actually like her body style and stuff better than I do the American Girl doll style. The American Girl doll, what I don't mean to be knocking them because they are good quality dolls, but it's like their, their butt sticks out too far. <laughs> and it their clothes just kind of fit different because of that and their legs the where their legs are combined they get wobbly and loose and so do their arms and so these dolls don't really do that and so anyway not just this but the the my life dolls they don't really do that and i just like them better and then they if you're buying the my generation dolls they're about the same price as walmart's my life dolls I don't really care for those dolls either. It's like their legs go in together, like they bow in together. And that just irritates me. And the My Life doll, she is nice and straight and sturdy. <laughs> and her whole body is uniform. <laughs> she doesn't have a big butt. <laughs> so anyway, um, there's that with that. So this is the newest outfit that I have uh, for the 14 and a half inch doll. So be looking for this pattern coming soon on uh, adoringdollclothes.com and, and then, of course, in my Etsy shop. Okay, so the next thing that I have, and I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Let me grab a cup, uh, drink of coffee real quick. I just got up, so I need this coffee. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is I've been doing the crochet calendar with uh, hosted by Dina from Dina's Homespun Fun. And she is a delightful lady. I love her channel. Well, this is the thing we're working on. It's This is for July and it is a Kiwi. So, if you're wondering, what are you talking about, Pamela? This is it, the crochet calendar for 2021. There are several of us podcasters that are working on this. And I'm not going to mention their names because I do not want to forget somebody. There's like nine of us. So I will leave their link in the description box. You can go check them out. They may even have a playlist. And uh, these other channels, they are working on this calendar as well. So for the month of July, so in the back of the book, they have a pattern for every month, all the way through from January to December. And you just work whatever that pattern is. So for the month of July, Is a kiwi pillow and at first I wasn't going to do it I was like I don't know I don't know if I want to do a kiwi I don't know what I'd do with it where I'd put it and it'd be a lot of work see look at that it would be a lot of work just to not keep so but as the month of July went on and then on I was like it was growing on me <laughs> so I made the thing and I am so proud of it um, it is now my favorite pillow. Let me show it to you guys. <laughs> Here it is. It's a big pillow, but it is my favorite pillow now. And I'm so glad that I made this thing. <laughs> Look at the backside. I mean, I really, really enjoyed this stitch. I know you guys are thinking popcorn stitch, Pam. That's a lot of work. But see. I really enjoyed making it. I had no idea that I was going to enjoy making this popcorn stitch. But I'll tell you what, by the time I got up here to row, there's 14 rounds on each side, okay? 14 rounds. By the time I got to round 10, I have to admit, I was a little fed up with making popcorn stitches. <laughs> I did just fine all up in here, all this. And then when I got, let's see. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So when I got about right there, that's when I was like, okay, I think I'm about tired now. <laughs> it took me that long before I got tired. Yeah, I was just a crocheting machine, but I was really in, uh, loving this. I've never made anything like this. And um, 
Yeah. So it's nice. I just have stuffing in it. And um, I'm scared to use it like this side. Of when I go to lay my head on it or rest, if I want to, I don't know if I would. If I'm on the side of the couch or something, I get, get a little tired. I just want to lay my head down. But I don't know if I don't want to lay on this side. I don't want to get face makeup or anything on it. Uh, my oil, you know, if my skin is oily, I don't want to do anything, get like anything like that on the white. So I would probably turn it over and just rest my head on this. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. That's my Kiwi pi uh, pillow for the month of July. <laughs> I'm so excited over this little baby. So the yarns that I use for that is, um, let's see. Okay, so their pattern calls for a DK 8-ply cotton yarn. Obviously, I did not use that. Uh, a 3.5 millimeter hook. So what I did, I used a G hook, a 4.0, and I used a four weight yarn. This is Big Twist, light green, a 100% acrylic. It says made in Turkey. I do get this from Joann's, and I buy, oh, 380 yards. Now, I buy these Big Twists by the box. But I buy them when they're like $1.74 or $1.99. And I literally buy them by the box. And I fill up. Let's see how many cubicles I fill up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I fill up. I fill up about 14 cubicles on this side of my room of nothing but Big Twist, Red Heart, and I do have a few Premier Basics in there. But yeah, I buy these by the box full when they go on sale. I just buy, I just click every color because I need them for everything. Blanket, uh, amigurumis, you name it. These full weight yarns come in handy for so much stuff. Now I have not made um, garments with this yarn yet. Um, I don't think I will because I'll use a lot of my specialty yarns back here for my garments and stuff. But I do use these for all my little toy making, little blankets, pillows, things like that were versus um, the what I call the specialty yarns. <laughs> so that's what I buy those for. So my Red Heart, this was a full skein <laughs> to do the backside. It was one of the $6.44, the large ones that you get from Walmart. It is the Red Heart Super Saver, the Cafe Latte. And there was, how much yarn was it? This was, yeah, the Super Saver Jumbo Pack. And 744 yards, and this is what I had left. This is my favorite color of yarn. I just love this. It comes in handy for so many different things. I was at Walmart yesterday, and I should have bought me a another one uh, because that's my last one <laughs> so I do need to get me some more all right um I think um now that I am finished with my July I can go ahead and put my July oh wait a minute I have a, a thing to tell you on this if you have this calendar and you are making these monthly things um and you, you see the, the kiwi pillow and you're like, oh, that's so cute. I want to make that one too. Here, I want to just give you a little advice. It says on here, um, do not fasten off the yarn after every color change, but keep the unused yarn on the back side of the work. That's, uh, you know, that is not when you do, uh, when you finish the white, you don't have to keep carrying the white. That's misleading. It's only when you enter the green and start in on between the green and the black. And then once you finish that last row of black, you can fasten it off. So uh, it's just little things like that that they have that's misleading. Uh, the other thing is that I saw in here that kind of bothered me. Um, where did I see that? Oh yeah, Kiwi Cushion. Make two. They don't tell you anything 
about making the backside of that in a cafe latte type color, a beige color or, you know, a light brown color. They don't tell you anything about that. It just says make two and it only gives you instructions for the front. So I had to go, I even went, I even Googled it trying to find like how other people have made this and all I see is the same type of picture everywhere. I did see on Ravelry where they sewed this pattern, this person did, but yeah. Um, so what I did is I just took the same pattern that was on the front and just did it in the cafe latte because, but anyway, that, that was a little irritating to me because I had to do some research to find out if, is the back different, you know, and all this type of stuff. Is there anything different to the back that I need to be aware of? Cause it just says make two and then all the instructions to make that but not anything about the backside. So anyway, I just want to share that in case you're going to make that. All right, so it looks like, let's see what August is going to be. Ooh, I saw a person here that looked pretty. Oh, a green square pillow. Looky. Yes, I'm excited about that one. That is very pretty. Let me jump ahead real quick. They are really into these bright colors, but I really like that. So I am excited for my August. I will probably get this one done really quick. This one uses an Iran 10 ply cotton yarn in white and various colors. <laughs> I like that. All right, so um, I was going to show you all right, so let me grab a cup of coffee real quick. Okay, so I was going to show you one of my previous. The last one I made, blanket, I gave it to my sister. It was for June. So I don't have it to show you on here. But I can show you. It was this blanket right here. And of course, I did mine in purple, white, and yellow. Um, and that was for June. But this one was April, May. This would have been May. That one. I just love it. But um, I'm not using it yet because I want to show it. So it would be next year when I get to use it. Because I want to keep showing it in my videos. So I'm not using it. Uh, let's see. This was... That was uh, the one for May. I mean, June right there. That's the style of it. I made one. But then I started making it in an, in my sister's birthday color. I mean, in my sister's favorite color. That's one of the months, a hot pad. This is one of them. I think it's a hot pad too. Oh, and then one of them I made, I took the squares and I made a cardigan with it. And so I'm not wearing this one either because I don't want to get them dirty having to show them off every month. So I probably won't even wear this till next May. I mean, till next till after December as well. So yeah, so that's all I have for these right now. They are all fitting in just a little bag I bought from Dollar General when I was at the checkout one day. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I like that bag. Use that for some of my projects. So that's what I keep in there. And um, my pillow obviously is not going to fit in this bag. So the pillow is going to go back and sit in li the living room. Let's do our 365 days of prayer. I've had so much fun making this video, showing off all this stuff, especially my kiwi pillow. I love the kiwi pillow. Okay, it says, lessen my grip. Do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. That's in Hebrews 13, 16. Lord, I know because of you, we no longer need to prove our devotion or be forgiven for our sins through sacrifice. Still, to give back to you some of what you've generously given to me feels good and right. I want to please you, Lord, and I know you love a generous heart. God, help me lessen my grip on my time and help me to loosen my concept of what's mine. I see this quality in others, and it is beautiful to behold. Their selfless acts reminds me how much more generous I could be if only I'd open my hand. Grant me a heart that shares what's been given to me, one that gives more than I think it can. 
Oh, that is nice. Says, what are you holding on to that you need to let go of? That's a good thought for the day. <laughs> that is all that I have for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have making it. And I'm so excited to get this posted and share this with you guys and look forward to reading all the cool comments that I get. Um, that's the fun part. You know, you make the videos, and then you get to sit back and just read all the stuff that people have to say about it because we all have the same interest. You all love crochet. I love crochet. I like to read the comments that you guys have to say about the crochet. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Okay, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.